My name is Adi Diab. I'm a medical oncologist specializing in melanoma at University of Texas MD Anderson Cancer Center. We, we presented this ASCO data on a novel drug, immune oncology drug called Nectar 214. It's a cytokine. Cytokines are a, a, a very known to be an independent pillar of immunotherapy. They have mechanism that is non-overlapping with most of the uh, immune stimulatory drugs that we see, definitely not overlapping with the checkpoint inhibitors like anti-PD-1 and anti-CTL4. That's very important because when you wanna have a synergistic mechanism of combinations, you wanna have probably maximized the benefit when you have two drugs that have non-overlapping mechanisms. What we have seen in the uh, monotherapy with Nectar 214 is that we've seen in the, intra, in the biomarker biopsies, pre to on treatment biopsies, we've seen massive infiltration of T cells of the uh, uh, invading the tumor, and that to a certain degree associated with some shrinkage of the tumors for that. And we've also seen that these C cells that invade the tumors, they're healthy, they're dividing. That's very important because dividing cells are very important uh, uh, indicator of an immune response. Uh, so this is, uh, is something that you don't see only with the checkpoint inhibitors. But we also see that these T cells also appreculate anti-PD-1 and, and uh, indicating and suggesting that there will be synergy with, with anti-PD-1. And indeed, some of these patients in monotherapy of renal cell carcinoma who never received anti-PD-1, uh, we uh, switched them from monotherapy with Nectar 214 to receive nivolumab, and with uh, three out of six patients, we received confirmed PR, with one patient also having confirmed and durable sta stable disease. Again, reinforcing the idea that this is a good uh, uh, drug to be combined with a checkpoint inhibitor such as anti-PD-1. We already started the combinational trial that we have not presented here in ASCO, but, and we will discuss it maybe in future meetings, but the early results are very promising promising and in terms of safety, this is a very well tolerable regimen, the combination, but there's also very promising data in terms of efficacy.